I am not used to looking at CAD drawings, so I'm a little out of my league here, but I think I'll be okay. All right, here's our drawing. Ignore how horrible this drawing is. I have no experience and I've never been taught how to make drawings like this, so ignore how basic and horrible it is. Hello everybody, welcome back to your weekday weekend. I'm Adam, and today we're going to be doing my first CAD practice model challenge. It's not really a proper speed modeling challenge, but it is one of Too Tall Toby's practice model challenges. We're doing the one that was released by Too Tall Toby uh, one day ago, February 9th. As you might have seen in the intro, I don't have any experience really with looking at CAD drawings. I can model stuff, but I'm really not up to speed with looking at drawings. So, um... I'm probably not going to be rushing. I'm probably going to take it slow and steady. I'm not trying to win a race here. I'm not trying to compete with anybody. I simply um, am going to do my best to see how it goes. Yeah, I guess without further ado, um, let's get a Libre uh, running here. Start a new part. I do have the material library stuff set up that he wanted me to set up in this. Um, I have never used the material library in a Libre. So that'll be interesting. Um, I don't even know how to tell a Libre what material I'm going to be working in. Maybe I should, um, maybe I should do that. Oh, I can just click on this. Yeah. Okay, cool. So we're going to go back. I don't know if you're supposed to, if you're allowed to already be in a new part. Let's assume that we're not. Let's assume this is, again, I'm not competing with this one, so I'm, Sure, it's kind of doesn't really matter, um, but we're going to assume that software can be open, but new part cannot be. I, I guess there's probably rules somewhere, but since I'm not really competing this time, I'm just kind of doing it for funsies. We're going to just start it from me having to click new new document. So, all right, let's do this here. I'm a little scared. We're going to do our best. Obviously, spoiler warning, if you're wanting to try this one for yourself and you haven't done it yet, um, obviously I'm going to be showing my answer and all that and my method. So if you haven't done this one for yourself yet, pause the video, go and do it for yourself, and then come back and see how I did. Six, five, four, three, two, one, go. Okay. So firstly, we're using ABS. So we're gonna do material, uh, ABS, apply. Okay. Um, okay. Jeez. Um, actually this doesn't look too bad. Oh, but that, okay. So I, I'm, again, I'm not really like, that's 275. What even kind of view is that one down there? So you get sorry, you guys can't even see. This is my model right here. Um, that's 225. That's 275. Um, interesting. I don't even. That's from the side. Okay. So I don't have the thickness of, oh yeah, I do. Radius 100, radius 60. So let's start with a uh, new sketch here, normal to the plane. Okay, let's, um, let's create a line there. Let's um, distance that, that's 60 that come on please there we go that is a hundred um oh uh and then um I've already fucked up I've already fucked up I'm I'm thinking about this wrong I'm all wrong. Okay. Whew. Slow down. I'm okay. I'm not competing. All right. 
let's um, let's make a rectangle, right? And now dimension that sixty, dimension that one hundred, um, and then um. Sorry, I'm just looking at this here. Um, how deep is this rectangle? 120? I hope that's the right number. Um, I'm gonna post this whether I get it right or wrong, so... Oh, I just did the same thing again. There we go. Whether I get this right or wrong, um, I'm posting this anyway. So... Okay. So there's that bit. And then we need... Um... A new sketch on that. Um... And we need to... Uh, I guess... Like, should I just start it with a rectangle again? Is that what I should do? Just start it with a rectangle? I think that's what I should do. Um, this, I don't have a width of the rectangle itself, I don't think. I have distances there, and I have a distance between those guys. But I... Hmm. Okay. Well, I... I do have distances between... Okay. Yeah, I got... I can do this. Okay. We're gonna use that as a reference figure. And then I am going to do... Like just that kind of shape and it is 88 deep 88 I could be completely wrong here guys so please don't roast me too hard um um oh that's right I don't again I still don't really know what like that yeah, I'm, I keep I keep saying the same thing that I don't I don't know. Yeah, I do. It's 275 over two, and then um, is that and then but the inside um, how would I? Honestly, how would I find that out? Does it really matter? Because it's... I think the point here is that it doesn't really matter because it's coming up a certain height, right? So, really all I need to do is make this, like, 60. Oh, shit, what did I just do? Why is, like, why is that sketch showing? I just pressed, um, shit, U. Toggle sketches is just S, okay. I need to change that later. Um, oh, Jesus. I'm losing time messing with this. Um, I'm really losing time messing with this. Um, Okay. Jesus. And then this width can just be like 60. And then this one is 88. Right? And then... Um... Cool. And then I need to do planes. And I need to um, mirror this whole 
thing. No, let's make the... hang on. Let's make the, um... The thing first, right? So let's make, um... Let's make a arc. Um, and then Okay, and then between those, uh, these points, I have a distance of 20. Uh, 20. And then the radius here is 10. And then, um, is this radius 10? Cool. And then that's 20 as well. Cool. So, um, the problem is I did center line through that whole thing. So now I still don't know. Okay, so that's, this is just, um, hang on. I do distance, uh, here, which is 225 over two. There. Perfect. I'm actually, I'm good here. Um, okay. So then, if I, um, mirror this whole thing, uh, mirror over that axis and then I extrude uh, how tall is it? 40? Uh, I wanted to go the wrong way Oop. edit uh, reverse 40 and then some fillets And then the fillets are 18. Okay. And then on this side, we have a cutout. Um, Ninety from the bottom and sixty-four deep. That's okay. This is actually kind of easy. I'm, I'm happy that I'm actually doing okay here. I had a rocky start. I don't know why that's upside down, but we're going to roll with it anyway. Um, we're going to... Um, oopsie. Uh, we're going to... Make a center point rectangle. And then we're going to dimension that to be... Nine, ooh, 90. And then... Um... I, I don't think it really matters as long as it cuts across the whole thing. That's fine. Um... What's my problem here? Oh. Um... Um, that's real. Let's just make a thing. And midline can. Hang on, what? Well, now what? Now what's what is un what's unconstrained? Um. 
Um, there we go. There we go. Okay. And then extrude cut. It was uh, minus 64. Right? 64 deep? Yes. Okay. We're almost done, actually, unless I'm missing something. Um, but I think we're miss. I think we're fine. Cootie sketch there. Um, project to sketch that. Reference figure. Main asso maintain association. Um. We're also going to... My computer is lagging just a little bit from doing all this. Reference figure there. Because we're along the center. And we're... Yeah, okay. I'm pretty sure... Uh, that is... 88. And this is... Uh... 41. And then... That and that vertical. Okay. Um, that's through all. Extrude. Through all. I think... 1347. I think... Uh, I, I'm not done. I need to, um... Hang on, let's double check this real fast, but I think we're good. Okay, I need to figure out what my material is. I've never done that. Inspect, um, check part. No? Physical properties. Um, accuracy high. Calculate. Um. I need to find the mass. The mass. Uh, 1.3242. And 1.3242. That's my final answer. In kilograms. Which means the grams is 1324? Right? That's my final answer. 1324.2. I'm probably wrong. Okay. I basically don't have any more time as well, so let's and to reveal, let's see. 1324.2. Did I, did I win? Shit. Hey! <laughs> I actually did it! Hey, I'm really happy about that, sweet! Alright. 1324. I mean, it took me 14 minutes. But, you know... It's an interesting model, and if I hadn't screwed up in the beginning, it would have saved me a minute or two. That's definitely a model that is like, that could totally be used in real life. You know, that's an actual model. I had to do a little bit of thinking. Um, but you know, that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. Nice. Wow, that feels good. All right. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, check out my Discord for more weekend vibes. Check out my website listed down below. Um, check out Alibre. Uh, not sponsored, but they are the ones whose CAD software I am using. Um, uh, they'll they'll be linked in the in the description below as well. Um, again, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, check out all the stuff down below. Uh, I'll see you next time, next weekend. Bye bye.